Live at 6, this is 13 News Now. That was the body cam video used to convict a former Portsmouth police officer. Now he is fighting for his freedom. It is Tuesday night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm David Allen. Stephen Rankin was in court today appealing his conviction. For the first time, we're hearing from the former officer's wife. I'm hopeful. Um, you know, we'll just see how it goes. But where it goes could take months. Allie Weatherton spoke to her today. She's live outside the Norfolk Courthouse tonight. I did speak with Rankin's wife and like she just said, she's very hopeful and ready for him to get out. Now, James Broccoletti, Rankin's attorney, says the three panel judges could take about two to three months to make their decision. It was intense. It was a very intense battle between the state and his attorneys. That's Stephen Rankin's wife, Dawn. She was inside the courtroom as attorney James Broccoletti fought for her husband to get a new trial in front of a three judge panel. They have some concerns about the first issue, about the expert. Um, I think that they expressed a lot of uh, reservations with respect to that. But I think with respect to the second issue, I thought that they were very uh, tuned into it. The two issues at hand, not allowing an expert to testify about the use of force and acted in ways that weren't appropriate. The expert, I think, would have counterbalanced that and presented a different side to the jury. And a video showing a juror talking with someone inside the courthouse. That woman sat next to the victim's family during the trial. We're peeking around to make sure that she's alone, make sure that nobody has seen her. Broccoletti says that's a statement on its own. In court, senior assistant attorney general Virginia Thielson says she agrees that the juror and spectator were talking, but she says nothing. Nothing about the case was discussed. They did not verbalize any communication about the case, and I believe that's what the court went on, and I believe the Commonwealth articulated that appropriately today. Now it's up to a three judge panel to decide if those issues warrant a new trial for Rankin. I just wait to see what, find, what happens and move on from that next step. Now, Don Rankin says her husband is doing very well in prison. If his conviction is not overturned, he will be out in November of 2018. Live in Norfolk, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. So how did we get here? This all started in April of 2015. That is when Rankin shot and killed William Chapman in the parking lot of a Walmart. It wasn't until September that Rankin was charged with first degree murder. August 2016, nearly a year later, a jury finds Stephen Rankin guilty. He was sentenced to prison in October of that year. Now, when that decision comes down, expect us to bring it to you right here on 13 News Now and on our free app. Developing now in Norfolk, a man admits to accidentally shooting a Moray High School senior to death. Lamontre McAdams was in court today. He says he shot his girlfriend, Nateria Powell, back in May. Doctors tried to save the 18-year-old, but it was too late. We heard from McAdams' lawyer. He calls the case tragic for both families. It's difficult for everyone. Uh, you know, we have a family that has lost a family member, and now we have the McAdams family who stands to lose their son for, for a matter of time that we don't know yet. We have to wait uh, for the sentencing for that. McAdams also pled guilty to reckless handling of a firearm and obstruction of justice. He now faces 16 years in prison. Her body was found in San Diego Bay. Now her Navy husband is accused of killing her. Matthew Sullivan was taken into custody in Delaware. He is pictured here with his wife, Elizabeth. She has family in Hampton. Her body was found two years after she was reported missing in 2014. Friends say the two were having marital problems. Sullivan will be extradited to San Diego. Now there could be something in the water near Fentress Field. The Navy plans to take more groundwater samples in Chesapeake. They're trying to figure out if firefighting foam contaminated well water. The Navy started investigating this two years ago. That's when they made this promise. We've gone above and beyond any requirements, any state and federal requirements, because we want to make sure that we have high quality drinking water for the sailors and civilians. Most samples came back safe during the last test. It won't be until April that we'll know the results of this test. Live now to the downtown tunnel, a heads up for anyone going from Norfolk to Portsmouth. The westbound tube will be down to one lane starting at 8 o'clock tonight. Work should wrap up around midnight. So how do you feel about crossing a bridge? Officials call 
functionally obsolete. Or how about deficient? That's how a pair of crossings in York County are being described. We're talking about the north and southbound bridge along Route 134. They've been standing for decades and need some major TLC. Nico Clements found out what VDOT is doing to try and fix the problem. It's out with the old and in with the new. It's rough. VDOT says two bridges in York County need major work. The bridge is on Route 134, Hampton Highway. Proben Rowe works at NASA in Hampton, so he drives across both bridges every day. On a daily basis, you know, two or three times, depending on the day. The northbound bridge was built almost 90 years ago and is considered functionally obsolete. The southbound bridge built almost 50 years ago. VDOT says this bridge has some deficiencies. I do go over that, you know, frequently, and uh, I could be going over and then we have more cracks and uh, could, could cause an accident. Plans include replacing the bridge on the north side of Hampton Highway and adding wider shoulders. VDOT plans to rebuild the bridge on the south side to meet current design standards. The total project cost more than $7 million. I think ultimately it would help drivers. I think we have to look at the long range and if we can do with the infrastructure of the roads and things, that's something we should seriously think about doing. Construction won't start for another year and a half. Drivers like Roe say the sooner the better. The bridge is kind of narrow at, at points, so it pulls people together. So I think definitely replacing the bridge, you know, will probably definitely make, make, make it a little bit easier for drivers. Because new bridges are long overdue. In York County, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.